Welcome back to In Photoshop 1. If you are looking to make your publication more dynamic and interesting, you can create a sense of dimension with the Gradient Feather tool. I have to say this tool is extremely convenient, given how easy it is to create many different looks. In Photoshop or Illustrator, this process to get the same effect is not as streamlined. To make my text readable, I will fade the top corner of my photo. I can click and drag my tool to define my opaque and transparent pixels. The tool will automatically create a gradient between the two. For a more gradual gradient, click and drag over a greater distance. I will play with several different looks before settling. As with most other tools in InDesign, you may double click your tool for more options. You can adjust the opacity of your starting and ending selections. You can change your gradient from linear to radial. You are also given the option of adding a drop shadow or inner shadow. In this window, you may choose to emboss the sides of your object. This can be a nice rollover effect for your button. Some of these options look like what might appear in a textbook from the 1990s. However, utilizing some of these effects will push your work to that next level. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.